Hi everyone, this is Maria's Budgeting. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you are new. So today I'm going to be doing my weekly check-in for the second week of April. So today we're going to be checking in from Saturday the 6th through Friday the 12th. So let's go ahead and get started. So just to make it a little bit easier, I'm just going to mark down all of my no spend days. Um, so first off on the 6th, it was a no spend day. On the 8th, 9th, and 10th, it was a no spend day. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off with the no spend sticker on each day. So there's one, there's the second, and then I need one more for the 11th. Oh no, I missed the 8th. So 8th, 9th, and 10th. So those are my no spend days along with the 12th, which was Friday, was a no spend as well. Um, so in total I did have um, five no spend days, which is good. So that means that I only spent um, out of two days out of the seven. So um, first off on the seventh, I did go to Target and it was going to be my boyfriend's niece and nephew's baptism. So I went ahead and bought them gifts and my sister did help me out with the gifts. Um, so my part was $50 since that is what I budgeted for. And then she paid the rest that, um, that I needed for the gifts. So that was $50 there. And then when I went to church, I, they were selling items from the Holy Land and I did buy something for my aunt. So that was $25. This one is coming out of my spending sinking fund. And then this one here, the Target one, is coming out of my gift sinking fund. And then on the 11th, I did get gas at Costco, which was a total of $60 for a full tank of gas. And then gas prices are going up, but I think so far my $100 budget is going to stay the same because I do have enough for the two weeks. And then I did get my threading done. Um, obviously, you guys might know that I am trying to do a no spend challenge for the month of April, and I had some exceptions. The gift for Holy Land was not one of the exceptions, but I either way, I decided to buy that for my aunt. The Target one, I, the gift for um, my boyfriend's niece and nephew, I don't know if I mentioned it in my exceptions. I don't think I did, but I did know about this event. Um, so I knew that I was going to spend for those gifts in the month of April. Um, but I don't remember if I mentioned it. I don't think I did. And then for the 11th, I do have more transactions. So I did go get my eyebrows done. And that was not in my exceptions. So, yeah. Um, but to be fair... Um, I didn't get anything done, I think, for at least one month. For sure, in the month of March, I didn't um, get threading done. And then I knew that the party was going to be on Saturday, so I kind of had to. I felt like I had to go get my threading done. So, yes, um, I just had to do it. I also did have another purchase, which was Expedia for $447. This is for my Hawaii flight. Um, that was one of my exceptions that if I did find a decent flight to Hawaii, I was going to buy that. So that was 447 coming out of vacation. Threading is coming out of beauty. So I do have my weekly check in here and then I didn't add anything to dates, restaurants and spending and budgeted. I never add, that, add to that, but I did add a 120 for groceries and then 100 for gas. So those are my numbers for the week. So I spent only out of gas from my cash envelopes. So gas, I spent 60. And I started with 100. So I have 40 remaining. And then I didn't spend from groceries. So I still have 120 remaining and then I don't have anything for the rest, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. But let me mark off the gas transaction. Okay, so I don't need change this time, so I am just going to 
open up my wallet and take out 60 for gas and then that leaves me with 40. All right, so that is it for my wallet. I'm just not gonna count the groceries, but it has 120 left. So um, the $60 is going back to my bank account so I could pay my credit card. Now I'm gonna move on to my sinking funds. So um, first I'm gonna start off with my white binder and we're going to beauty and we are unstuffing 30. So I do need to take the 50 and then bring back 20. So now we have $40 left in beauty. So then we're gonna go to gifts. So I can unstuff $50, which was what I had budgeted for the gift. And then like I said, it was a bit over the 50, but my sister paid the rest. So 50 for the gift and then we're going to move on to the next binder and we're going to go to personal spending there we go and then we are going to take out 25 so we are left with one dollar in here and that is it um, I do have obviously the vacation sinking fund that I have to unstuff, but I guess I can review that envelope with you guys. I don't have enough. I only have 160, 70, 170. I am going to finish my $500 scratch off challenge. That's sweet savings in my next cash stuffing. So I'm going to stuff that into vacation and then I will go ahead and pay myself back when I do that. Um, but for now, we're gonna mark off everything except for the vacation transaction since I haven't paid myself back for that. So um, 50, 30, and 25 is 105. And then I did start with 100, so this should be 205. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 7, 8, 9, 200, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm struggling to count money today. But that is all set. I am just going to um, head back to the calendar. And then we are going to mark off Threading, Holy Land, and Target. And then Expedia will stay unmarked until I pay myself back. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!